Hey, welcome back to another update of my Canadian dividend investing portfolio. So if you're subscribed to the channel, welcome back. And if you're new, uh, what I do is I'm just tracking basically every purchase I make buying Canadian dividend paying stocks. Um, I'm using Wealth Simple Trade to buy and sell the stocks and I'm tracking everything with this Google Sheet. So um, I've been going for about nine months now and my account balance, or actually my stock value, I find is a bit more meaningful, uh, is sitting around $17,645. Um, I've got $256 in cash today that I'm going to be spending in this video. But basically I'm up 1975 for about 12.41%, um, which is great in nine months. That's that's an excellent thing. That's a lot to do with the recovery that's been going on in the last year. Uh, my average yield is sitting at just over 4% right now for the whole portfolio. And that means I'm looking at an estimated annual dividend income of $708. So this is based on the forward annual dividend of all of the stocks that are in the portfolio. And that works out to around $59 per month. You can see my sector breakdown here is mostly skewed towards real estate and utilities. And today I'm actually going to be adding in one a little bit to one of my utilities and then some in the industrial sector. I'd like to build that up a little bit and also financials. There is, I think there's a good deal today in financials and so I'm going to jump on that as well. And if we look at my holdings, you can get a, just a basic idea of what everything is in the account. And uh, I'm trying to keep everything under 5%, but obviously some of them are like getting a little bit above AQN, Fortis, uh, stuff like that. But I am trying to like buy stuff, yeah, just to keep this so it's not too slated towards any particular company. When we look in the portfolio here, we can see which stocks are green and which are red for me. So which ones I have again in loss. Um, Algonquin Power, my biggest position, I'm down a little bit. Same with Northland Power and Energex and Boralex. So basically all of the utility uh, renewable energy companies are still the only ones that are in the red for me and everything else is actually doing pretty well. Um, you can actually see if we go gain and loss by percent. Let's see, we can switch this up. You can see which ones are some of the biggest winners. I bought some of these like in September of last year on the banks and stuff. Uh, so they're doing really well and lots in the double digits, uh, which is awesome to see. But one of the ones I'm looking at today to pick up is Manulife Financial. Um, this is actually my smallest holding. You can also check it out here. Is it A? Um, they're right down at the bottom. They only make up less than 1% of my portfolio. I'm up 30%, 34% on these guys, which is like insane. Um, but I want to add more into them. They've got a nice dividend yield of 4.5%. And when we actually look at basically what they look like in the spark line here, they were doing a really nice recovery, a huge run. It just never seemed to stop. It was just going up and up and up. And now we've dropped off a little bit. And they do kind of like bounce up and down uh, historically. And I'm not sure how far it's going to drop. But considering they have dropped quite a bit in the last little while, I think like 15%. I was up 50% on them at some point. Um, so I'm just going to drop in a little bit of money here. And basically, like they're only making up 0.85% of my portfolio. So I would just like to increase that um, and, and start like balancing it out a little bit and just trying to get it up like some of my positions are over a thousand dollars and these guys are only at 150 for the whole thing so just going to add in some for them and then another one that i'm looking at here is exchange income corporation we can also take a look at their spark line which is right here and they don't have any noticeable drop off really like in the immediate last couple of days but they still haven't reached their um like their high from just before everything crashed last year so i'm okay with buying into it a little bit more they are also kind of a little bit cyclic um, and then the other one that I'm looking at is Transalta Renewables. These guys, I bought these a long time ago, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to buy more into them. This is a monthly dividend pair. And uh, yeah, my average price is $15.93, so I bought them quite a while ago. And when I look at the spark line here too, let's maybe set it to five years so it loads a little bit better. And there we go. So these guys, like all renewable energy companies, they have suffered greatly in the last month or so, um, but they're kind of getting closer back to where they were before everything crashed. And that's about where I'm comfortable, I think, buying into more renewable companies. I don't like buying them like way up high. And so while they're a little bit down, um, I'm just going to drop in a couple shares into them. And although I'm already up 20%, that's okay. I think I would just like to build up this position a little bit because also... Yeah, they're only making up 2.5% of my portfolio and basically anything that's down here in the bottom half, I'm just trying to build up if there's any sort of good deals. So let's go ahead with that and jump into Wealth Simple Trade. 
which is the broker that I'm using to buy stocks. So if you're in Canada, if you're Canadian, this is an awesome app to be using. It's like a commission free trading app. So you don't have to pay a five or $10 fee every time you buy stock, like a lot of the alternatives. And you'll see in this video, like when I buy one share at a time, I'm not paying $5 on that share and it's not taking up. Like I'm not immediately losing like 20% of the purchase or something, which would take years to get back anyways. So it's a great option in Canada and it's a wonderful user face to use. And uh, yeah, anyways, I, th I think it's nice and you can, uh, there's a link in the description below if you'd like to try it out for yourself. So let's get started. Um, let's go for MFC. This is Manulife Financial. It's on the TSX. You can see all the same charts here. Basically this little drop off recently that we can see. Um, so that's great. And again, we've got a 4.5% yield and all the other relevant information that we need. So I would like to buy six of these today. That's going to put me right around $150. We're going to place that at a market order. And that's cool. So once that's done, let's jump in and buy Transalter Renewables. These guys, I would like to pick up three. So that'll put us right around $58, I think. Yeah, there we go. So let's place that market buy. And there's just a little bit left. Um, and I think we have enough just for one of Exchange Income Corporation, EIF. And again, you can see the same charts as we saw before. Nice, nice yield. And uh, yeah, let's just take one here at a market buy. All right. So let's jump back into the Google Sheet and go log these transactions. So what I do here is I just check the notifications from Wealth Simple Trade to see what I actually paid using the market buy because it differs a little bit from what it was displaying to you when you make it. But once that's all in, then I'll just jump back into the summary tab to see what has changed. And our cash has obviously dropped down. And what I'm really looking in here is at how much has the dividend income increased by. So before we were sitting at around $708 and now we're almost at 720. So that's basically an increase of about $12 per month almost um, of just passive tax-free income from the dividends, which is amazing. You can see here that the monthly income has also jumped up by 98 cents, so it's almost a dollar. Um, and that's great. I'm going to be using that money to reinvest back into more dividend paying stocks and really get that compounding effect going forward as I continue to deposit my own money and use this dividend money to buy more and more stocks, building up this like, you know, larger and larger stream of passive income that eventually I will live off of one day or use to pay some of my expenses. So anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching this far. If you did, um, if you liked the video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it and also leave a comment down in the description. I always love seeing the comments down there. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.